So we are in most unusual times. Unusual in terms that it has been 2,000 years that we are in exile since the destruction of the Bishamidosh. And in 5,780 and 11 months, or close to 11 months, since God said, at the moment of creation, God said, already then, the Ruach Elohim, the Spirit of God, when His hope is above the water, says, our sages, this refers to the Spirit of Moshiach. God is waiting for that moment, and we are living these moments right now. The Rebbe said it clearly, and we see it unfolding in front of our eyes in many, many events. And this week I want to focus on one particular one, and this is where the parish of this week. Torah starts with Shoftim the Shoitrim Titan Lacha Bechal Shorech. Shoftim judges Shoitrim and enforces. And as Rashi says, Shoftim are the ones who Dayanim who give the judgment, the base that give the judgments, give the guidance, give directives. But then we need those who are going to ensure that those directives are being carried out. These are the Shoitrim, what we call today in simple language policemen. If, the, if they want to make sure that we protect it, that we keep the speed limit, there's got to be tickets given out. Otherwise, it won't necessarily be the case, and so on and so forth. So they're using coercive measures to assure that those decisions, which are for the well-being of the community, are for the individual, are being followed. Here we face something interesting. In Davani, in Damida, that we say three times a day and repeat it again with the Chazara, when we repeat the Shemay Nesri, there it says, Hashivu shefteinu kubrishoinu v'yoyatseinu kebatchila. Hashivu, we pray to Hashem. After we say to Kabi Shofar Gadol, sound the big Shofar of redemption. And then we say, please God, return to us judgment as it used to be, the judges as in at one, Rishon, in the beginning, and the Yoyatseinu, and our advisors, Kevatrila, as early on. What happened to the Shaitan? Why the change? The Torah doesn't speak about an advisor. The Torah speaks about a shoiter, an enforcer. Why advisor? So really this prayer comes based on the prophecy of Yeshaya Novi, right in the beginning of Yeshaya, where there it says, I will return, says Shem, says God, I will return to you, the judges and the advisors. So there we find this expression of advisors. And the Rebbe says the following. Indeed, there are times when we need the enforcer who is going to even necessarily use force, some kind of coercive force. And then there are times we don't need the enforcer because we're ready to do it. I need the police only to make sure when I am not willing or I'm forgetful about my responsibilities. But in a time when we're not forgetting, in a time when I'm willing to do it, I don't need a policeman to come and tell me what to do. I'm willing to do it. In a sense, that's the difference between the time of Golos and the time of redemption. In exile, where the reason for exile is because we're a little stubborn in our commitment to following the commandments of Hashem, we need a shoiter. We need a coercive force gentle coercion, friendly coercion, sometimes a little bit more forceful, but we do need this concept of a forceful of authority to enforce the laws. But when we live in a time where I, I want to do what I'm supposed to, we live in time of redemption, we live in time of Geula, we live in a time where there is no need to coerce me to do the right thing because I want to do the right thing. I don't need a policeman. All I need is someone who will advise me, will explain it to me, what the judge said, will show me the beauty and the meaning and the purpose and the goodness which is in all this. That's the quality of the Yoyets. We are living in those moments where we are getting ready 
for the time of no need of shaitan anymore, no need for policemen. I know this might sound odd to you, but in fact, this whole concept, and let me specify, the concept of defunding the police is a beautiful concept. It's all about wanting society to be in a place where we don't need to be coerced. We just need social workers, we need advisors. Unfortunately, it's being pulled in the wrong direction by people who have ill intentions. But the concept in itself is a Mashiach concept. And the closer we come to this reality of Mashiach, which is now, this idea is becoming more and more prevalent. So we ask Eibishto, we have the idea, we're ready for it, bring us the Gula, and indeed, the defunding of police will be a positive experience, because in the Beis Hamikdash with Mashiach, we don't need police.